what a good old-fashioned feed mill looks like. Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today I'm coming to you from a food plot that was just finished up yesterday. We're just walking through, looking at how everything turned out. We drove in and there was a deer on the very back side there. I do have 50 pounds of buckwheat that I'm going to be spreading, which might be a little bit thin for the amount I have here. I probably could have went with 100 pounds. Okay, let's get in that skidster and start making some more trails. Then take that skidster back and bring the cameras in and get this thing seated. machines are a bit bouncy. Last, uh, two years ago, three years ago, I had a tracked machine. That thing was pretty good. Because it had a lot of, it had a lot of uh, surface area on the ground, so we had a lot of power. This one with the wheeled machine, you know, you lose traction pretty easy. And then also, uh, you could really get her bouncy. I've already jumped a couple of deer in here and they're probably taking their little afternoon siesta. But they'll be happy once I'm done. So we're gonna go that way and then we're gonna cut that way. So I just wanna peel that top layer of grass off. But it's really hard with this bucket because it doesn't have a really sharp uh, blade on it. Some of the problem with this is also the fact that when the loggers came through, they actually rutted it up so bad in the wetter spots that, you know, it's staying near impossible to get through. back a little bit more to take a little bit of tongue weight off of that poor Suburban. Yeah, now it's a little... Eh, it'll be alright, we're not going far. Welcome back to What's Next Garage. 
This is day three, my food plot trail building and camera setup. So I have in my backpack all my trail cameras. I think I got six or seven. And we got a couple of sprinkles of rain. All right, stick around, it's gonna be fun. I'm thinking that tree right there will give me a good look at what's coming from that way, what's coming from that way, and what's on this trail. So we'll just put a standard trail cam here. We'll see how that turns out. So today in this spot, we're gonna put up one of my Bushnell trophy cams. And this setup, you can pick these, you can pick this stuff up at your local hardware store. It's just a, a quarter, a quarter inch, a lag bolt screw eye. And this is a quarter 20 screw eye and a couple of fender washers. And then you just get, this one is, this is just cheap grade two hardware. And you could just connect them up and they screw right into the bottom of your camera. And it allows you all kinds of adjustability. So I always carry crescent wrenches with me so I can do some adjusting. So let's get this thing up there. I put up this ladder section and then we just go up and I'll pick a, whoa, hey, hold on. We'll break some branches out. Then this will give me a good view straight down this trail. And then anything that comes from the west and anything that comes from the south. So the sun is over there in the east and obviously it's gonna arc across over to the west so it won't affect my camera. Just a little bit will allow you to maneuver it and then you could spin it any way you want. So I, t I want it to be in that direction kind of facing the trail we walked up on. Now I'll just go through and I'll do this exact same setup on other trees and I'll bring you back when I set up my spy point cellular link cameras. All right, this one's gonna get some good pictures. All right, so we're gonna open this guy up and turn him on. And then we have to see some status lights. So right now we got a green blinking, which means it's searching for a signal. Okay, I just got a picture of my camera and it's perfect. It shows at that angle. So we're connected and it's showing just to the left of that brush and it's showing straight out, it's showing that tree, that brush pile. All right, so we're gonna climb on down and start seeding the fields. All right, I've got 50 pounds of buckwheat. So I'm gonna try it out of this spreader, see how it works. I'm just gonna work this back and forth. I don't know where it's gonna open to. And well, let's just spread it. Yeah, I'm not sure how, oh, that was a dead stop. How it'll turn out, but we'll get her on the ground. That's for sure. So I see it getting like over there. Let's see it's going quick.
even though it's 70 degrees or 77 degrees, I'm hot. Now we're gonna go set up on the other field and we'll do a combination of wheat and buckwheat. But that's 50 pounds, so we're just gonna to have to see what it does. We'll get there, it'll grow, it'll be a learning curve, but we'll definitely figure out where I missed and where I didn't. And I can see seeds there. We just need rain. I'm gonna add the wheat to this. So we'll plant it and see what it looks like, but we'll go through and we'll try and get that whole field done. I have a little bit of wheat left, no more buckwheat left. Let's get over to the other field. That forestry mulcher did an awesome job. I can actually drive this over the top. So now we're shooting out buckwheat and regular wheat. But well, this is actually pretty large, way larger than I thought. Everything from this line over is good. I just need to get up here and down in there. I know that if I don't open this up as far, I wouldn't have to walk as fast. Let's try not opening it up as far. And then I don't have to run. There, look at that. That's way better. Uh-oh, we got a hanger. Got a stick. Caught a stick. Ow! Sliver. So this is a side that will be a mixture of the buckwheat and regular wheat. Got a really nice little area up here, like a turnaround which is actually pretty cool. Evan did a nice job. Yeah, it looks like I'll be perfect. Because this is already all done. And I have some seed left over. And I can see seeds. So that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that, that I got a pretty good coverage. So this is my last camera setup. We got them right there. So this is my watering hole. It measures about um, 15 feet, maybe 15 feet long, 20 feet long by 20 feet wide. I'm just getting ready to go in and test the water. It's hot right now. Lots of tracks going in. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of What's Next Garage Habitat Edition. Hopefully we can have some luck out there, perhaps see a few deer. Thanks for watching, have a great day.